This is the Instagram account of the New York City Department of Transportation. And I can say from experience, trying to drive a car in New York City is absolutely awful. It's terrible. The parking, the fees, the one-way streets, the congestion pricing, which they said they were going to do and then kind of backed off of because kickback Kathy, I suppose, even realized that was a bridge too far for the brainwashed zombie robot sheep of New York City. And I mean, the traffic jams, it's all, it's awful to say the least. They really want you to take the train which is understandable. The New York City subway system is an absolute engineering masterpiece. It's just too bad. They are also rife with corruption. They've been hemorrhaging cash for several years now for several different reasons, but none of that really matters. It's all because of Rona. That aside, my name's Eric. This channel is called Report and Opine. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'm absolutely begging you. I'm begging you, please, come on, please. It would help me a lot and it will cost you nothing. If you wanted to help me even more and spend some money, you will buy my book, New York City 2020, Gotham Unglued. But here, from the account of the NYC DOT, official Graham, right? Hello, fellow young people. Official Graham of the NYC Department of Transportation. Call 911 for emergencies and 311 for non-emergencies, one's called stunningly sassy. So that's what you want, is when these people, when you have the MTA trying to run the subways, they're completely corrupt for several different reasons, of course. You want the people who are running everything outside of the subway, the streets, the, the highways, right? The BQE is quite literally collapsing. Those people are on Instagram saying that they're stunningly sassy. And there are some posts here. Look, they have more than 3,000 posts, 72 or 77.2 thousand followers. And of course, like with everything else, they're going to turn things completely gay. So here they are. The parade may have been cut short, but these signs had to be seen. Happy Pride. This is from the Department of Transportation, right? And you can see in the comments, fix the potholes. Failing infrastructure. I follow DOT for actual DOT related information, but all I see is this nonsense. And there's copyrighted music, so I'm not going to play the play the sound, but it, it's Madonna for the record. The DOT is playing Madonna with a whole bunch of gay postcards. B bigotry, hatred. What, bro? You guys are supposed to be fixing the streets, just like the MTA is supposed to be attending to the subway, but they can't do that. And they blame it on everything but themselves, even though we, we all know by now that several of them at least were caught collecting overtime from their couch on Long Island. So these are two different sectors of how you literally move through New York. And they're, I mean, the MTA is probably doing a whole bunch of gay stuff too. They have a whole bunch of stickers and panel ads about gay stuff, but that comes second to the literal corruption. And here... I wouldn't doubt for one split second these people are also corrupt, but they have gone out of their way to make sure that you know everything is gay. So, born this way? What? Okay, that's it. It's only a couple seconds, but they're playing Madonna, and they want you to know how gay everything is. And then there's this. They have um, painted a crosswalk because they know that it's all... This was only a handful of days ago. This was after... All of the hype surrounding a gay crosswalk in Washington, I believe. But they know. They, they want to create this self-fulfilling prophecy. People are not happy with this, even in New York City. So as soon as you do something about it, they, they are ready, willing, and able to call you a criminal. More gay music they're playing, but look at this. Right? We already saw this when they painted Black Lives Matter on the street right, right outside of Trump Tower. People didn't like it. In fact, there was a black woman... I think she got, she's out of the Instagram game now, but she dropped black paint all over the Black Lives Matter mural. And here they are. Look, just let, let you know, every, at the, the cars, the roads, the highways, the highway exits, everything is gay in New York. Meanwhile, they can't keep anything else up and running. Migrants are stabbing each other. They're eliminating Americans. They're shooting at cops. But more importantly, we got to make this crosswalk gay. Then there's this woman, McKenna, who, I mean, Right. Do you want an awful? The awfuls, the affluent white female liberals. Right. Everything else is literally collapsing. I mean, the Canal Street station, it rains inside. 
Parts of the 7 train are falling onto cars below. Luckily, nobody got hurt. And this is the lady. This is one of the people who are, I guess, the best. It says, meet McKenna, a research, safety, and implementation senior project manager. The White Plains Road Project was my favorite. It's the first of its kind that DOT installed in-house. We've got our bus stop under the L and then the curbside bike lane. So really transformative. Okay, lady. So this is my precious baby, <laughs> Olivia. It's an, it's an awful. This is like a 30-year-old awful telling you that she has a cat and she works for the DOT. There's You can't put any faith in these people. I mean... You, I guess you don't have to have faith in the DOT, but these are the people that are quite literally in control of creating the highways, the roadway. Again, the BQE has been collapsing for probably a decade. They keep saying they're going to fix it, or they're going to fix it overnight, or we're going to fix it during the daytime, and it's going to take months and months and months while this lady's talking about her cat. Got a photo of her here, too, just so I know what I'm working for, you know? It's all for her. Hi, my name is McKenna Russell. I'm a senior project manager at the Department of Transportation in the Research, Implementation, and Safety Unit. I manage the design, outreach, and implementation of street improvement projects. Some of them can take shape in the form. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure. Go. This, this lady kind of reminds me of the judge out in Texas who's like, uh, I don't know, it's Trump's fault. Blaming things on the current immigration policy is absolutely political and it really breaks my heart that people would politicize the sadness that that tragedy to me it hurts even more that they're being used as pawns in this fight over immigration that doesn't even exist because biden and mcconnell agree it's just that trump won't let them move it forward all due respect judge you said this issue shouldn't be politicized but by pointing the finger at former President Trump and Republicans in Congress, aren't you politicizing it? Um, I think I answered the, I think I answered the question. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's, this is about Jocelyn. This is about her family. And uh, if we, if we want to, Judge, as I said, talk about question. immigration. You then, didn't answer the question. Are you politicizing then, this by pointing the finger at Republicans and saying it's their fault not the fault of the Biden administration that lifted the, the Remain in Mexico policies. Again, the Biden administration reached an agreement with Leader McConnell to address this, but this is not about immigration. I'm not going to feed into that. I, this is not political. These people are completely... The, maybe they're not totally despicable. They're not evil. Maybe the judge is evil. I mean, it's apples to oranges as far as that judge is concerned in Texas. But my point is, you've got these like 20-something women who have been given gifted these positions of power and are just sitting there pretending they're a strong, brave woman with a cat while everything around them is collapsing, right? Think about the judge who's like, isn't eh, that political? Lady, it is political. You guys made it political and you let a 12-year-old die because you didn't want to stand up to any of it. Form of a bus stop under the L location, which is making bus stops um, underneath the elevated structure accessible. A lot of the times um, we see folks standing in the street because the bus can't pull up to the curb. This way we fully encapsulate where the columns are with concrete just to give folks a safe space to board and the bus stops can pull up right next to the concrete island. I always say that the White Plains Road project was my favorite. It's sort of the first of its kind that um, DOT has installed in-house. So that's where we've got our bus stop under the L and then the curbside bike lane. So really trying- Yeah, okay, it goes on like that. But do you think that lady is going to create a safe environment for you to travel through New York City or is she more likely going to co-sign all of the weird gay things that the DOT is pushing on people and here you have the MTA the equal and opposite faction of commuting around New York City but of course everything here is gay as well they have a whole highlight reel look at that oh and this from last year of course look at that oh yeah people are getting stabbed and pushed on the tracks but we got to just make sure that there's rainbows everywhere as if that's going to help people get to their destination safely. Absolutely insane. Okay. Look at this. I mean, the, the, these people are incredibly maniacal. Okay. Let's go back. 
I think this is a, yeah. Shout out to Q Train, right? I used to ride the Q Train almost every day. But tell me this is not a weird brainwashing, like some sort of psyop. I, I mean, I don't know what to call it, but they're pushing this nonstop on everybody. And you can see all the all the rainbow stuff that that replaced sort of the yellow NPC wear a mask, don't talk to anybody stickers. Oh, this is about respect. This is absolutely crazy. So here, just for, so we're crystal clear on one hit pride street. Really, bro? This is crazy. Absolute insanity, literal brainwashing. Okay. Look, that's enough of that. So above ground, I guess it's still going, whatever above ground, you have the DOT, which is supposed to install signs and fix highways and potholes and all that stuff. And of course, we, we saw recently the um, the U-turn signs in L.A. that were completely racist. So they're above ground trying to fix things for people who drive cars and, of course, charge the cars so that they can fix the subway. It's all a complete mess. But then underground, you have the MTA, which is doing all they can to, of course, let you know that everything is gay. And naturally, to round out the weird political communist takeover of the governing bodies in New York City, the NYC Healthy account. And th this is really dark. I've done several videos videos about this organization already. And you can tell, oh, now they're pushing, oh, gun violence. Oh, gun violence is a health crisis. Everything is a health crisis. But they... They turn everything, they, they want to pretend like it's not political when they quite literally, their whole thing is to make every single thing political. And there you have it, BHIV, sure. Of course, this is during, uh, th these recent posts are, of course, from Pride Month, so you can make sure that when you're having homosexual relations that you go get a pill, because they want nothing more than to turn everybody, well, I don't know, I don't know what they want the most. But they do want to turn a lot of people into lifelong, lifelong pharmaceutical customers. And here you have it. We all have a role in ending the epidemic of HIV. Know your status. Get tested and be HIV sure. All New York City sexual health clinics offer walk-in rapid HIV testing regardless of insurance or immigration status. Yeah, because I'm sure that the... Um, the large population of Venezuelans who are shooting at cops and committing heinous crimes, they're probably gay. And here's another one where they're going to turn, uh, they're going to wrap up climate change and racism into a disgusting, corrupt health burrito that will, I guess, scare some people into submission. In New York City, the risk of death from heat is unfairly distributed across neighborhoods. So is that to say that there's... Uh, the, the wealthy white Jerry Seinfeld type of people living on the Upper West Side for the last four decades just aren't going to be as devastated by the heat. Heat contributes to the deaths of about 350 New Yorkers each year. Swipe through, blah, blah, blah. Heat exacerbated deaths increased mainly due to hotter summers overall with more non-extreme hot days of 82 degrees Fahrenheit up to but below the extreme heat threshold of 95. Okay, well, go to Arizona, go to Texas. What are you talking about? Death counts have remained steady in the most recent years. The risk of death from heat is unfairly distributed across New York City. Our heat vulnerability index, what? Combines social and environmental factors that contribute to neighborhood heat risk, such as surface temperature, green space, access to home air conditioning, and the percentage of residents who are low income are black. And there you have it. Every single thing, I mean, right? We all remember. We all remember when Dr. Admiral Richard Rachel Levine came out to tell you that the air is racist. Hello, I'm Admiral Rachel Levine. This Black History Month, I'm pleased to partner with OMH in advancing better health through better understanding for black communities. Climate change is having a disproportionate effect on the physical and mental health of black communities. Right? None of this makes any sense. Here's another one. What is doxypep? I try, don't know. Some sort of AIDS medication. Doxycycline post-exposure 
prophylaxis, whatever. Doxypep means taking the antibiotic doxycycline after sex to prevent getting certain STIs. Taking doxypep lowers your chances of getting syphilis, gonorrhea, and chlamydia by about two-thirds. Doxypep is currently recommended for men who have sex with men. Uh, here we are once again. We all remember the, the monkeypox craze of, I don't know, what was it, 2022 or something? Oh, they're not, well, they're not gay. They, they're constantly, they're manipulating, they're changing the language nonstop. Men who have sex with men, right? There's a word for that. We've had for many decades now. But this is what they want to say, MSN, right? MSM, excuse me, which kind of makes sense because that's also the mainstream media. Perfect, I'll take it. And trans trans women who have sex with men. This is the health. This is the health department completely manipulating language and making it confusing for everybody. Doxypep works best when taken within 24 hours of condomless sex. And no later than 72 hours. Condomless sex means oral, anal, or vag, front hole. This is the health department. The, the official New York City health department talking about front holes and drugs and how the air is racist, Right? The, the, are, are you going to trust any of these people with your health and well-being? Are you going to trust any of these people with, with, to set up a safe and rational crosswalk? Or, I mean, even a sign, right, that's going to get taken down in a decade because that too is gay? I mean, this is ridiculous. And here's the last one, last one, last one. Gun violence, a health issue. Gun violence is a health issue in need of a health approach and response. A health approach means a focus on preventing events, providing treatment for people at the most risk and changing social expectations. It can help us better understand the root causes, they love that, of gun violence by focusing on social services, education, and other factors that can prevent gun violence. This differs from a criminal justice approach, which does not address how Inequity and structural racism can diminish these factors and lead to gun violence in the community. And there's just no way, right? This is the health department. They cannot be trusted as far as they can be thrown. This is why New York City is the way it is, because the DOT is completely corrupt. The MTA is completely corrupt. And the health department of all people is probably the most corrupt, right? They're telling you not to even talk on the train you got to wear a mask or you can't get on the train. And of course, you got to take a pharmaceutical. But don't worry, it comes with a cheeseburger. I want you to look at this and think about, again, some people love hamburgers, some don't really want to respect all ways of life. But if this is appealing to you, just think of this when you think of vaccination. Mmm. Vaccination. Mmm. 